Hey, hey, honeys, it's Levi here, and today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do the motion tracking text effect like you saw at the beginning. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new composition. Next thing you want to import your footage, and once imported, bring it into your timeline. Then, in my case, I'm actually going to trim the video and only work with a small section to show you today. So the first thing I suggest you do is lay out your text how you want it. And I'm going to lay it out one by one because I want to create also a nice effect after. I don't want it just to be motion tracking to spedazzle it a little bit. Next thing you're going to do is choose your font. In my case, I'm going to be working with Luna. And then adjust your text and scale it down to where you want it to be. Once you've placed all your text where it needs to be, bring down your mouse and right click the gray square, hover over new and press null object. Once you have done that, go to window in the taskbar and make sure tracker is selected. Once you've selected tracker, you should be able to toggle the motion tracking options, which will be displayed on the right. Now you're going to click track motion and that should turn that red square into two boxes that you're able to adjust um, that almost work like a magnifying glass. So what you're going to do with this is that you're going to take it and you're going to put it on the area um, well, first of all, of the object that you want to track. So I'm going to put it on myself here on my red sweater. And a very important tip for you when doing this is to put it on an area of the object which contrasts really well with the background or the object behind the subject. This simply makes it easier for Adobe After Effects to track the motion a lot clearer. And uh, also, just another tip, make sure that your shot's really well lit of the object that you want to track. Once you have adjusted your target, go to Edit Target and make sure that Null 1 is selected, or at least the null that you're working with. Now you are going to go to the little play button and play it through its entirety, or at least the part that you want to track. Once you have done that, it's basically going to create all these keyframes and you're going to hit Apply. Make sure that the X and Y dimensions are selected. Now you're going to expand all your edits done to your null layer. And you're going to select all the keyframes that were created in your motion tracking. Once you have done that, go to Animation, Keyframe Assistance, and click Easy Ease. What this will do is soften the motion tracking and make it look a lot more smoother. Now what you're going to do is select all of the text layers and change the parent all to null one. This will basically link the two together and will make your text move. And voila, there you have it. The text should now be moving with the object that you are tracking. Once you have that, you have the basics. However, in most videos, a lot of the text has transitions and some nice equation blurs, which I'm gonna do because Shaman does, does that in a lot of his music videos and that's what I wanna replicate. You can watch your TV show I will watch what I want to watch No won't listen Thank to Thank you all for watching my tutorial. I hope you've all learned something and you can take away a new technique to add into your own creative projects. Levi out.